Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to SJ 336, St. John 336. This is Stephanie Jeanette. And we're on day 320 of my book, A Daily Devotional. We're covering Psalm 100 today. St. John 336, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. <clears throat> Suggested scriptural references to read Psalm 100, all, um, Job 39, all, all, and take note of verse 8, Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 27, Jonah chapter 2, verse 9, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. And we will go to Nehemiah 12, 27. Ezra, Nehemiah, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther. And you know how I remember that? N E N E? Or the word year. And you know, after that comes Chronicles. Or is it before that? Yeah, before that. So, right before Ezra. So, Chronicles, what do you chronicle? You chronicle things, you know, chronological order. All right, so, June, uh, I mean, Nehemiah 12, 27. <coughs> Excuse me. And at the dedication of the will of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their place places to bring them to Jerusalem to keep the dedication with gladness both with thanksgivings and with singing and with cymbals psalteries and harps and uh, let's just do Philippians 4 6 so I've been saying other things we're going to run out all right so, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. So we can use some of that, huh? Maybe people wouldn't be shooting folk up and, what you call it, road rages and all that. Suggested praise song, Because He Lives, by Matt Maher, M-A-H-E-R, lyric video. YouTube upload is dated November 4th, 2014. And for the entry, <clears throat> oh, let me, I wanted to do the song. So, um, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that has made that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving, into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth unto all generations. And I'll tell you, like I said, the NIV version and different. Um, called theology, even people who claim to be following Christ. You know, you have some that they will outright tell you they're not following Christ, and not only are they not following Christ, um, they are trying to make hinder the the, the uh, our work, which is to spread the gospel. But, um, yeah, they don't like that part, you know. He has made us and not we ourselves. You know, self made man, you know. So, anyway, <clears throat> so Psalm 100, this is the entry, and this is day 320 of a daily devotional. This is a short and powerful song of praise. It serves as an instruction sheet on the proper attitude one ought to have in humble worship of our God. Joy, everyone, cheerful service unto the Lord, joy upon entering near Him, recognizing His majesty gratitude 
blessing and honor. And then the last verse, 5, gives a synopsis of reasoning as to why it would be illogical to do otherwise. For the Lord God Almighty is good, his loving kindness is eternal. Likewise, every generation will have to answer to his truth. I think one of the most important words of scripture in the Holy Bible is found here in the Psalm, verse 3. In acknowledging this truth, one may escape the pitfalls found in the spirit of the pride of life. <clears throat> Take a quick look at that because that's very important. That's one thing when one breakdown inside of it. So, <clears throat> know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. <clears throat> and so, the pride of life is that attitude that we have when we take things for granted. Like, for instance, our brain. We, um, we can do nothing without it. But do you see any spas for the brain to reinvigorate it, refresh it, relax it, stimulate it, whatever? No, but you got some for the feet, <laughs> for the buttocks, you know, <clears throat> and uh, nails, right? These outward appearance things. <clears throat> out of sight, out of mind, perhaps. But um, the pride of life is that attitude where we just take things for granted. We just always assume we'll be able to get up and go and walk around and move and breathe and air whatever, everything else. <coughs> We'd fail to acknowledge God Almighty uh, in reverence him and thank him, especially thank him. We do it to our own parents, too, usually until we become parents. Some children are... What, you know what you call old soul, and it kind of, in the, at an early age, can appreciate what the parents do for them, the good things they do. In any case, <coughs> here is the intercessory prayer, dear Father God Almighty, our surety unto salvation. We thank you for your dear and only begotten Son and His completed work of His shed blood on the cross at Calvary in Christ Jesus of Nazareth. We bless you, Lord, and thank you for catching us when we stumble. Your grace is sufficient and your mercy everlasting. And Lord God Almighty, please bless Wallace and Futuna Islands through livestock and coconut. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name, we do pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below.